A father of six is dead tonight, chopped by his eldest son in San Roman village. But according to reports, the suspect was only trying to defend his little brother. According to what the boy tell me, so he can grab me in the hammock. So um, after that, um, start to, my, my, my father start to, to argue with me. So after that, um, they start to fight and they get a machete. And after that, they gone in the, um, they come out outside. So after that, and um, he killed his father. So it's the two brothers. He, the father was harassing one, and then the other one came to his protection. Yes, 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 yes. The the oldest brother um um start to help his next brother. So after that, maybe his father he got a machete. That's why um they start to to fight. The victim, 52-year-old Amaya Salvador Rivas, had been sleeping in the adjoining kitchen area when around 4 a.m. he forced his way into where his common-law wife. 46-year-old Santa Ical and her five children were sleeping. According to one of the children, Rivas allegedly beat Ical before turning on his 18-year-old son who was sleeping in a hammock. He reportedly began choking his son, arguing about a cell phone. That's when a suspect, who is 23 years old, chased his father into the yard and allegedly chopped him several times. I get a report with um, one, one of the boy. I never know his name, but um, he tell me, I killed my dad, that was he tell me, like a quarter to six. So after that, and I asked him if that's true. Yes. Um, well, okay, I will go check. That's what I tell the boy. So after that, I came, then I come check the, the body. And, and it's true. So that's why I call police, like uh, 6.15. So, and the police, they came to check the body. And once Chuck got to the scene, Ikal explained to him that she'd been in an abusive relationship with Rivas for years, which might have pushed her oldest child to his breaking point. So he tell me, uh, I'm not afraid I kill my own father because I tired for him problem. That's what he told me. But Ikal tried to avoid this violent end by separating from Rivas. She had moved to San Roman less than a year ago to get away from him. But that didn't stop him from finding them again. The lady tell me, um... The long time this problem start, right? They're not only from today, that like every day. Because what the, 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 the lady tell me, so um, he put one knife right here by, by me, by me side. She, um, the lady tell me, right? So I tell her, you should do a report to me, then should I call police for you? She told me they, they used to live from Charlton Junction. So um, with that problem, that's why they, they, they came in a son man, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they, they, she came here and he followed her? Yes, yes. Ikal and her two eldest sons, the suspect as well as the 18-year-old, were taken to the Mango Creek Police Station this morning as police began what they are calling a death investigation. Courtney Menzies, 7 News.